After horrific accounts of Vince McMahon violently sexually assaulting Janelle Grant coupled with continued attempts to solicit her to his associates, Exhibit 196 describes him texting a reminder that she was his slave. The next exhibit alleges that Vince McMahon continued to advertise a sexual encounter between Janelle Grant and a WWE superstar in active negotiations with the company at the time. Here's what Redacted said after I told him that part of the deal was effing you. LOL, that's your turf, she will be ruined after me and leave your ass, plus after me your tool won't fit anymore. Brock Lesnar was identified as the WWE superstar described in the lawsuit. It's alleged that McMahon ordered to create personalized sexual content for the former UFC fighter and rendezvous had even been scheduled. However, plans fell through after Grant made excuses to back out. In 2022, McMahon was alleged to have abruptly distanced himself from Janelle Grant due to his wife Linda McMahon discovering the relationship and threatening him with a public divorce. Thus, McMahon allegedly pushed a non-disclosure agreement with Janelle Grant as the best way forward for all involved. On January 24, 2022, while talks of an NDA were ongoing, Vince McMahon allegedly continued to engage in sexual text message exchange exchanges with Janelle Grant, as described in Exhibit 213, including encouraging her to send an explicit image to the WWE superstar and requesting that she send him the content she had sent to him. So that is Brock Lesnar's involvement in the Janelle Grant, Vince McMahon, John Laurinaitis, WWE lawsuit. That is why he is being erased from WWE and why you will likely never see him on WWE.
this is the part where you click the subscribe button, do it, do it right now, do it for your mom, your